welcome to the 4th episode of Mercer Podcasts. Today we are heading to the geographical side of things and we are doing culture. Today we are on Nigerian food and culture. And in today's episode we have Vicky Nikki. How are you today and how does it feel to be on Mercer Podcasts? It feels very good and I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit nervous, but it's okay. So yeah, we are doing Nigerian food and culture. That is the theme for this podcast. In Nigeria, what? What's the theme again? Nigerian food and culture. Hey, okay. Gonna be based around, you know, Nigerian foods and Nigerian culture, Nigerian pop culture. You know, the classic Nigerian things, and on the okay. geographical things. So, the first question is: jollof or fried rice? Jollof rice and jello fries for the win. Man. Yeah, I agree. Jello is better than fried rice. I'm sorry, but like... Yeah, fried rice gets spoiled easily and it's just not the best idea. Jello fries is cute and chicken. Oh! And sometimes the fried rice is too spicy. Too spicy. In it? Like, jello is just sweet. Not too sweet that just tastes oh, like... It's just amazing. Actually, especially when you're at a park, so sweet. Especially yeah, when, oh when you're at a park and they have the containers. That African hall party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, what is jello for those who don't know? Oh my days, jello is like a Nigerian dish, but um, other like countries in Africa still have it, and it's like red, and it's like what's not red? Oh, red is orange. Like red yeah. yeah, and it's like it's like sweet rice, so much seasoning, and it's just amazing. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So, uh, jello fries originated in Senegal, a country in Africa, and there's you know other type of uh, jello fries like Ghanaian, Senegalese. Yeah. Um, but Nigerian jello fries is amazing. Best yeah, best. hashtag takes the win. In it. <laughs> What is your favorite Nigerian food? Hmm, it has to be pounded jam and ekwo. Oh no, pounded jam and okwo. Yes, the best soup too. What is your favorite Nigerian song? Hmm, oh my days, that's hard. That's actually hard. Yeah, because there's Hmm. loads of... No, and there's too many. I don't think I can answer that. Yeah, like for me, I think mine would be that Burner Boy song that goes like, yeah, like that they called Yeah. And yeah, I forgot yeah, the name yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And then you, you know, Tio Savage, Real Puss Kiss Kiss. Oh, Real Puss Kiss Kiss. Yeah, we got the, the Real Puss Kiss Kiss. Real Puss Kiss Kiss. I think it's called Milo. Yeah, I think it's called Milo. Um, yeah. What is your favorite Nigerian artist? Oh, okay. It has to be. I, I can pick like I'm gonna pick like three. Has oh. to be Whiskey, Burner Boy. Uh, I don't know if Dam is my favorite, but it has to be Whiskey and Burner Boy. Okay, and that and these musical queries. Lead us to the next question. Davido or Whiskid? Whiskid, of course. Um, of course. Burn a boy or Tiwa Savage? Mm, I like Tiwa Savage, but I've not listened to her for like many years. Many, Same. many years. But it has to be Whiskid. That's Burn a boy. <laughs> oh, me, I mean Burn a boy. I mean Burn a boy. Sorry. Burn a burn, 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 boy. Burn a <laughs> What Burn makes a boy. Nigerian party Nigerian? What has to be there to just classify it as an official Nigerian party? Um, hey, hey, okay. I'm just gonna like, like those African aunties that greet each other but don't <laughs> like them, like, but don't <laughs> like them. Like, Auntie Vanessa, in I see it, get <laughs> no, Veronica. No, no, go up to them and talk to them. Say, I have the kids and I have the family, and I have to be like, hmm, winch. Is your uncle back from visiting Angola or is he ever coming back? 
But <laughs> um, <laughs> they, they, they be looking up and down. And the child the could be listening. Like, hmm. And then they'll be, and then the child, good morning, auntie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there also has to be the jello fries containers. Like, oh, like, yes. There's that like, one thing Uncle or auntie that's just there pocketing all the, the container. Yes. <laughs> and then the mom <laughs> will be like, you better eat in this party because you're not eating when you get back home. <laughs> and then you'll see sometimes uh, just the fried rice on itself or the cheddar mm-hmm. fries by itself or even sometimes yeah. even mixed I never yeah, really yeah, yeah. I'm not really a fried rice fan there's um other type of fried rice in Asian culture there's I think egg fried rice I know that there's like different types of fried rice in Asian culture yeah yeah um there's always that one child who tries sneaking They'll be telling the auntie, Auntie, you look so fine today. Is it? <laughs> get another, another container of rice. Is it? I did your hair today. Uh, your makeup, uh, uh, it looks better than yesterday. Um, Is it? How far? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've done that before. <laughs> what did they do in this rice? How, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite Nigerian sweet? Speech. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. Oh, it has to be Tom Tom. Mm-hmm. Tom Tom. Or sometimes Gala. There's like a Gala lollipop. I've never even tried Gala lollipop. It's really nice. It's so, it's so Wait, sweet. It has to be like, no, no, no. But like, it's like, not like exactly sweet, but like, it feels like a snack. It has to be Tom Tom and plantain chip. Yes, 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 yes. Can't forget the plants and chips. Yes. Banger. It's back bold, better Ooh. bougie with another banger. And to drink with it, to digest your symptoms, Malt. you have to have Nigerian Fanta. No, you have to have malt. You have to have malt. Yeah, malt. <laughs> Super malt. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have a whole African dish. You can't be in an African part without the malt. Mm-hmm. Like, that's mm-hmm. a whole crime. It comes in a crime. Isn't to be at a party it? without you go jail if you don't drink that. In it, that's, that's that just straight jail. Two bottles, two bottles. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I stick some in the bag, you know why not? Be that stingy one. I just collect, collect them. Just keep oh, them there. No. Um, the next question we have for Vicky Nikki, Sticky mm-hmm. Mickey House Clubhouse, <laughs> is why do people? Think Nigerians or Africans live in hoods. Oh my day. Oh my day. Basically, yeah, because they they so much like films or like some people just tell them rumors that we live in huts and we have lions as a pet. In it, like what? Do you think like some parents be telling you to school? I went on a mountain. In it. I climbed valley. The I lies. The, the 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 river in the I went to the desert and I went on the moose. I would went to class. I was early and I had to no, top of my class. No shoes. <laughs> At the top of my class. I, I passed all my class. I even teach the teachers. <laughs> I, I was it I was a teacher I was the teacher's teacher. I was a great <laughs> chat student. I'm even a shooter. I treated all the girls. I taught them. It was me. All by myself. No help. I look at you yeah. Sitting, sitting watching TV like, like, like. <laughs> Um Um so yeah. The what they probably think they live in huts because Yeah. The way because of all the rumors. And like Nollywood TV, yeah. like the village. They only put the <laughs> they got mansions though. They got mansions though sometimes. Yeah, in it. And um, it's just that uh, when you search up, I mean, no, not when you search up. You know when you know there's what's it called UNICEF. There's UNICEF. no problem. With you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, for like communities, they'll be like. Save Africa today, <laughs> and then put and then put a picture of a bunch of 
small little black boys and small little black girls pour dirt all over them drink them from dirty water like no that's not that's not like a bit of them can do that like in the village or some part of the country but like nigeria but like mansions big jeeps but like when you were um when you're looking at ads for poor people in maybe you the uk or mm-hmm. uh usa they're behind very big um city they're like in the city of new york why can't you show yeah poor people maybe not every, not every single poor person you know that's understandable is in yeah. Lagos or abuja or like a very yeah. big um country i mean very big city yeah, or, you know, high buildings, but at least like they have buildings. They don't live on these street streets. Yeah, in it. Like they, they like you know they do have a bit of cover, and it's because, and the people, even if they did live in a hut, it's probably because of you know Africa is actually a very rich country. It has like gold. Uh, exactly. Ghana is actually the main gold producer, I think, in Africa. You know, exactly. and lots of different countries come there to raid it for their gold. So they're basically left with nothing. And also yeah. with slavery, um, you know, people went to Africa. So the yeah. country didn't go through as much development as countries like the UK. Or like it didn't go yeah, through its right. industrial revolution at the time. So can't be here saying all of y'all Africans live in huts. Oh my gosh. It's so dirty and nasty. Like, no. That's that's not how it is. I'm sorry, but like, no. Yeah. Next question. We have got, what is your favourite soup? Okra. Definitely. Okra has okra. to take the winner. It's my favourite too. Like, Okra is just so like, it's so like, like slimy it's so, and nice. <laughs> slimy. No, 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 no. When slime <laughs> rained, when slime rained in 2018, I used to play with it like so- <laughs> all my days. <laughs> but I slapped the fifth one. No messy. No messy. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, stretch. I stretch. In it. <laughs> I cram. And what is better, Ghanaian or Nigerian jollof? Oh my days! This is obvious. This is obvious. Are you mad? I've never tried Ghanaian jollof, but I know Adi just got, still gonna be a banger. It's Nigerian for the win. Yeah, sure. I've actually, I think I've had a Ghanaian jollof at like a like a party. Maybe I think mm-hmm. the Ghanaian person made some of the rice. Even you might have had it before. And I don't know if it was or not, but like, I can tell sometimes it might taste a bit funky. And yeah, bit- and then like, all the countries want to start doing their like competition. Yeah. Like- so like, it'd be like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Tastes a bit funky. Who put this thing in here? My mouth. Are you trying to poison me? Are you trying to poison me? So you're trying to kill me now. You want to fight me? You you, you want to fight me? You want to poison me? (laughs) Are you trying to kill me? No, 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 Next question we have for Vicky Nikki. What is your opinions on Afrobeats? Oh, it's top. It's the top. Top notch. Top is the top. Uh-huh. Then all these, all these um, roadman bands, like the Azda um, Lingi, Azda Adva. It's better than any, any music. <laughs> Guess who's better? I mean, no, no, no. What's it called? Dot my eyes and crush my teeth. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. School. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Yeah. Top notch Afro beats. Imagine those main to Afro beats. In Guess who's back to school? Oh, I don't know. But something. Imagine. I can just imagine that. Um. 
as the the as the as the as the Afrobeat Adver- version. Oh, <laughs> what is what is the food at a Nigerian party? What is the food like? All the food yeah. is there. So if you went to a Nigerian party, Nigerian hall party, Nigerian house party, yeah. yeah. What would the okay. food be? What 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 would the food be like? What food would be there? Okay. The country to the food, so, spicy, spicy, I, salty, I, salty. I don't like, remember like being there, like having like. Like, but I can tell you, like, there's rice in coolers, like those big blue coolers, and then there's plantain, <laughs> and like on the table, do you know all those like white? They're like plantain, puff puff, puff puff, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. All of that stuff yeah, is all there. Have, have you ever had a cara? Is that not puff puff? It is, but like very spicy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's worse than um, it's worse than uh, puff puff, and it's like Taco Bell. You be there on the toilets for hours, oh. days and nights. You sleep on the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep on the toilets. If you if you eat a cow, if you even smell it, you be there on the toilet. You pass out and wake up on the Did toilet. <laughs> you stay there. You sleep there. You eat there, <laughs> there is criminal bedroom place. If you have coronavirus, that's why you'll be isolated. <laughs> <laughs> that's if you only rest in space. You know, that's a that's no longer a shared area. That's the designated spot for you and yourself only. <laughs> just camp there. Like, no rent, you don't even need to pay rent. It's just <laughs> it's just free of accommodation. <laughs> <sighs> Living there, rent free, rent free, no money to be found. What is a typical Nigerian phrase? <laughs> Come on, put it on my head. Kill Ode. Oh no, 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 how do you say? Oh, no, Asha. No. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to fight me? Um, you know, going wings. <laughs> Do you think I'm one of your mates? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what is a typical Nigerian or African church like? Oh, it's not quiet. I can tell you that it's not uh-huh. quiet. There's people dancing. There's people having Holy Spirit on them. There's people. Um, what's it called? The the um. The choir singing and praising. It's the hottest region is the Sahara Desert. I don't know what this is. Who is the current chairman of ECOWAS? Uh, uh, what are you asking me? I don't even know. It's Pre- President Mahama Don Isalfu of Niger Republic. Nice, so I guess. Um, <clears throat> one of the questions are actually. Who is the current speak? Who's the, who's Nigeria's current speaker of House of, Re- of Representatives? And this one, I um, want to try pronouncing it. Femi Gabaja Gabaja Biamila. It's G B A G A B I A M I L A. Gabaja Biamila. Uh oh. And the thing with last names in Africa, it's not like <sighs> that Hello? a Nigerian church is definitely not quiet. That's, that's it... one. Uh, it's, it's they've got the whole band playing. In it. Like they've got like a whole lot of fighting the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord of Jesus. <laughs> and and then they call the they call either this one Af this one auntie or uncle to stand behind them. <laughs> they wrap them with a blanket. No, <laughs> hey, like they're about to sleep. <laughs> no, they were the Um, now we are on movies. Movies. Jennifer's no, diary. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, what is for those who don't know what yeah. Nollywood is? Hey. Give them a Nollywood movies description. Juju. <laughs> and those people with like the painted face, with those necklace, and yeah, the witchcraft, and then their um, their stick that they hold, the emperor. Um, people dying a lot. That one stingy auntie. That one abusive person. The gossipers. <laughs> the fighters. <laughs> the screaming. That one child who's so clueless. Fucking that one screaming. Help! Help! And then um, the ghost appears in one day, like, he just appears uh, in front of you and says things, like, one witchcraft. <laughs> and everyone else said, you're probably just here, just ignoring them. Like, ah, if you're going to uh, die, die on your own. Don't do it quietly. Must we all here? Must the whole village here? Must the whole compound? Like, ah. Have you ever had nightmares from a Nollywood movie? Or like, oh, jeez. Uh, the Nollywood movie. Of course. Scary. Of course. <laughs> hey, man, I'm sleeping one day. But at school, school tomorrow, I cannot sleep thinking there's going to be juju on me. Witchcraft <laughs> ghosts appearing in, when, I'm, when I'm sleeping. What? No, 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 no. One eye open when I'm sleeping. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, was about to say. I literally wrote it down so I can remember to say it's one uh, open when I'm sleeping. sleeping. Oh <laughs> so I gotta keep an eye on Selena. You gotta keep an eye on Selena. What would you do if Addison Ray or Charlie yes. Bellio was on a Nollywood movie? I will not watch it. Are you mad? I will sue that company. Why are you bringing it Igbo? The witch path? Why are you bringing TikTokers? Are you mad? I'm not sure that they're speaking Igbo or Yoruba. You know? I'm sorry. Sister Ray. Sister Damili. Or Charlie and Sasa. I'm sorry. Do you want to play that Jala? Mama Dibilio, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. Sister Ray. Yeah. Adi Adi. Hi, Baba. Hi, sister. What's the question? For the next question, we have got What is a Nigerian poisoning scene like? Hey, um, hmm. <sighs> like maybe like, oh yeah. So they brought their girlfriend in or something, <laughs> and then they ask for a drink. They put kind of one of these drugs inside. They give it to them, laughing, ha ha. Take it, here's your drink. And then one, one second later, they're on the floor, and then they start, um, and then the police open up arm armed police start opening it up start shooting and shooting and then <gasps> um, well, I've not watched that for so long I think that's all I can remember but I know they put like some drug in a drink especially not like food like in a in drink it. so here's a little fun fact for you guys in Nigeria there's actually 500 like dialects and accents yeah. Oh, yeah. Very diverse place. In it. And really? thing, Drake. I'm gonna give you some. <clears throat> this this is what Nigerians would say. Do you want to like um 
say any of your socials? I don't know. Anything? Um, okay. My TikTok is baby face, but for the E on the face is a three, and I underscore Vicky with four Ys. Nice. You can write on the screen, thank you. <laughs> T-Y-T-Y. <T-Y. laughs> I don't know if I can do that, but just now. So it's baby face three underscore Vicky with three Ys. Yeah, no, four Y's. Four Y's, because she's extra, extra, extra. Yeah. So yeah, um, I like food. It's very Same. important to me that I say I like food every day. Yeah, of course. Speaking of food, uh, what is, what's the top five Nigerian foods? Jalof, um, poundy jam, I'm sorry if this sounds a bit disappointing to you, but <laughs> I don't like Egusi. <laughs> Same, Egusi is so weird. I don't know. I thought why you say you liked it. No, but you said the top thing, and people. Oh, but to me, I, I just I don't like it. I've tried it, but like. I, I, I can't. It's just, it's just too. Huh. Sometimes it's too watery. I just can't even. I can't even eat it. I don't even. Sometimes like I just it. don't like the taste. I just don't like the taste. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you some Nigerian foods, and you're going to rate them out of ten. Like okay. you know, one out of ten, one out of ten, and so forth. Okay, but okay, jello fries. Ten. Gary. Gary, the one you drink or the one you eat with soup. Uh, eat with soup and drink. We can do eat with soup first. Actually, the one you drink, like ten okay. out of ten. What about the one you eat? Um. Um. The one that I eat, um, like a three out of ten. I only have the one that I eat. I've never actually drank it before. Oh my day! You just put like gravy and then water and then. Sh- yeah, sometimes you. Yeah, <laughs> granites. Even the. Pe- <laughs> yes. Oh, what about pounded jam? Oh, ten out of ten. I don't know why. That when you were saying that, just remind me of sis versus bro. 10 out of 10! <laughs> Black paper scissors! Cheese! <laughs> what about a goosey? 4. Uh, what about Suya? Hot Suya? Uh, it's very hot, but I'll give it like a... I, I really like Suya. I think Suya's like a 9. To me, like it's spicy. Sometimes the chicken's a bit dry and tough, but overall, it's not that. Some people might not be able to handle it. To be honest, yeah. Just spicy mouth. Okay, puff puff. Okay. Yeah, I know. What about puff puff? Puff puff. Mmm. So it has to be like Madame. a nine. Are you drunk? Yeah. Pick me. I can pick. I've been I've been drinking um, um fruit wine. Hennessy. Hennessy. Fruit wine. <laughs> fruit shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what about Akara? Akara, um, I don't really eat it a lot. So like a, a six point five. I think it's like a, like a 5.5. I like it, but I don't really eat it a lot. But when you do eat it, you'll be sleeping on the toilet. You'll oh. isolate that. You'll be trapped. When you need to go Is to it? school, you'll pull on your seat. Your bum will be stuck. And when you're asking, Miss, can I go to the toilet? They'll say no. <laughs> you'll stay there. You'll stay there. 
if they say no, you just have to sit there and deal with it. And then we're walking you around. You just be them. Them past then. <laughs> so we plopping out your bumper. <laughs> It'll just be so ah uh, torture. Next, we've got Moi Moi. Oh, banging. I can't remember what I eat it with, but I eat it with something. But I get it. It's not, I don't really like it, but I like it so seven. My mom eats Moi Moi. I've never had it. And to me, hey. it just looks weird. Yeah, the texture is weird, but it's nice. like, I think my brother and my mom likes it, but like, to me, I'll just be smelling it. So I'll be like, something smells fishy. Something, something smells yeah, fishy. Yeah, because they have fish in it. Up. Oh. Wait, I'm not, wait, so they actually are, wait, so it's actually fishy. I, yeah, I, was, only, fish I was only putting like, fishy as a metaphor, but it actually has fish. <laughs> yeah. Um, pepper soup. It's seven. <coughs> There's this thing called, I don't know what it is, but in Kawopi? In Kawopi? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just, I just saw it now. I don't know what it is. And Kawobi, and then nothing called Ewa Ayu, Ewa Agoyin, and it looks eh? like it has beans. You know the African bread. Oh. What, what, what about African bread? African bread, like angel bread. Yeah, like the big loaf of like tingy bread, and oh, sometimes it's you have amazing. it with peas. Yeah, a gege bread, like the ones. With chocolate bread. too. Yes, a gege bread. Chocolate? Even the one clear. Yeah, sometimes I put chocolate on it. Maybe. <laughs> if I'm feeling bad or tea. <laughs> or no, hot chocolate, I mean. It's a stew you have to put it with. How about amala? Amala? I don't really eat it, like, once in a while. I've not had it since, like, 2019. What about beans? Like, the African bean yeah. one. Oh, um... Um, really like beans with like a gigabit. Oh, what about plantain? Plantain, <laughs> especially when it's like <laughs> fresh, it's a ten. Uh-huh. But when it's been in like a fridge, nah. Like my what mom actually about... put plantain. I've not had it for so long. It's been in the fridge, it's like watery now because the fridge is like <laughs> ice. What about uh, plantain chips? Hmm. What about um Ogbona soup? Uh, not can eat. What about um? I don't know what it is. I think I've heard of it before. Um, have you ever had it? it's called banga soup? No. Yeah, cause I- I've heard of it before, but um, I don't think it's like a really, 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 really wild type of thing. Uh, vegetable soup. What? Vegetable soup. F4? No, vegetable soup. Yeah, that's F4. Oh. I got oh, a vegetable soup. I ate it today. F4 with stew and pandy jam is amazing. Ten, no, a thousand hours of ten. A thousand hours. <laughs> a thousand out of ten. <laughs> is it better than plantain chips? It's, it's, it's the lamb, it's pen. It's looking good. Feels good. It's, it's even peng. <laughs> Quoted from Henry. Yo, hi. Quoted from the dangers of all Henry. <sighs> Next, there's a bunch of other foods that I'm scrolling through, and they're like called okpa. This one called F, like meat pie, meat pie, meat pie. Oh yes, meat pie, meat pie. I had that like a week ago. No, what do you think of meat pie? What do you think of meat pie? It's amazing. Meat pie. Meat pie what is about so Alton? great. Um, like 10. What about fish pie? Ew, no. I don't think fish pie is that bad. I feel like it's, it's spicy though. Yeah, it's I really... don't like fish pie. It's just... Too fishy. Did you just say too fishy? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's too kangaroo <laughs> I mean, so, I wouldn't say bad. So I saw 
I searched up what is a typical Nigerian meal, and I said, from jello. Wait, <clears throat> let me just do that in a push voice. From jello fries and pounded jams to pepper soup and beef stew, are the classic Nigerian dishes every aspiring home chef to try. If you caught anything that I was saying. Yeah, basically jollof, pounded jam, pepper soup, beef stew. That's the <clears throat> typical Nigerian dish. And you know, there's gari, fufu, starch, soup, okra, afang, edika, ikong, I don't know what that is. Vegetable O? It's not called O. I just O H. What's what's that don't make sense. To, to, to me and we've also got <clears throat> a goosey and of course a bono my fam I really hope you are enjoying the um, podcast so far and yeah with last names in Africa um, is you know you know when you have a lo- like an African name yeah like a last name and it's actually really easy to say. Like but mine. some Olibos just want to say it like completely how it's not, just to be all humorous. Yet they can say um I don't wanna say this, but like uh <laughs> You know, uh, things you get, they can say, uh, like very, like hard, they can say super not like hard. <laughs> in it. Or they can also say, look how I message you. They can either say that and that, but they oh. struggle so hard, in it. so hard to say, something very simple but they just add the extra extra extraness because extraness because they're African mm-hmm. and this is oh, my journey this is literally you know? yeah um yeah it'll be like it'll be very it's just like weird to me it's very weird to me okay so hey y'all yeah. so- so this is the end, the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed me. Uh, podcast. This is the end of episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed a lot. Um, it was very shaky, you know, a bunch of different things. You know, I tried a lot of different things. Usually my podcasts I do just questions. Yeah. And one quote, but I actually ran out of questions. So I had to go on Google on my TV. So I'm recording on my from my phone. And I had to search up a bunch of Nigerian questions and Nigerian quizzes and it wasn't coming up. It was coming up with very hard questions. So it was a bit shaky, you know. Oh, because I was while planning the episode, I had no questions left in my head. I tried to search some even I even tried searching them up on TikTok. You too much. But you know, that's the lifestyle. Hashtag <laughs> weapon in it. But yeah, I haven't I haven't tried you know going on tiktok but you know this is the end and victoria what have you got to say make sure you guys you follow me and you can put it on my tiktok he, he is going to he must do he has to put it on his youtube and it's coming right here now 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 follow it i know sure. so, uh, face uh with a three underscore vicky with four <laughs> yeah anyways bye guys bye i love you marathon Victoria, how does it feel to be on my podcast? It feels... It feels like, good. all these questions, how, how do you feel now? It feels good, because I remember back in those days, us filming some real cringe, very, very, very cringe YouTube videos. Try, like, <laughs> draw breakers. Oh, um, uh, yes, Blue Ariel, but the channel's now dead. <laughs> Um, it's so sad.
oh yes, the brain's got talent. You can't forget. And I'd always be commenting on your thing. It was literally, <clears throat> I, I still have one of the videos from like Freezy videos that I showed you. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, now we're going to do <clears throat> a quiz. Let's see how Nigerian we can spice it up. <clears throat> Bye. So this is a quiz on Nigerian politics, economy, and culture. I don't know why, but let's go. Which of the following is not an ethnic group in Nigeria? Hausa, Yoruba, Igbo, and Tutsi. Wait, say that question again. Which is not an ethnic group in Nigeria? Mm-hmm. Hausa, Yoruba, Igbo, or Tutsi? That that last one, the Tutsi. Tutsi. You are. Yeah. What is Nollywood? Nollywood is like an African like whole TV movie show that you can watch full of black people, especially Nigerian. Very funny, very scary and very cool. It's not like Hollywood Indian. Nah, that's better. So as we are on the, you know, geographical side of the podcast episode today, this is, you know, Nigerian culture, of course. So, Nigerian culture, Nigeria culture, plays an important role in lives of separate individuals and the society as a whole. Culture helps to accumulate, control, and organize the human experience. It is basically what makes a person human in this country. Individuals usually become a part of one or more ethnic groups in Nigeria. So, it's a very cultural um, place. Yeah. There's... Um, loads of diversity. Different, yes, it's very diverse. And when people say the word diverse, people immediately start thinking of black and white. Black yeah. and white isn't the only thing you can like be diverse by. Like, yeah. yeah, you can be like diverse by height, age, gender, yeah. anything. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> Do you have anything you just want to say in general, to be honest? Um, I would like to say this. I already talked about this, but Nigerian genocide is a fact. That is facts. Yeah. yeah, that's just facts. Like, you've got to just like <clears throat> you just need to <clears throat> keep that in your head. Yeah, it's like you should not come out. No, I should not say it, and it should come out on the other ear. It's just mm-hmm. thought in your brain. Like, just keep it, compact it. In keep the, it. Keep it safe. Mm-hmm. Lock it with a key if you need. Just get it, lock it with a key. And for that key, you cannot unlock it. Mm-hmm. Just like, twist, twist the key. Twist, twist them, and twist you them. Twist your ears so you can hear me. Mm-hmm. Open your ears wide. Why you clear? I'll twist it. I'll twist it for you. You cannot twist yeah. the key, I'll twist your ear. Nonsense. Now, I'm going to give you some more Nigerian questions. And these ones are extra hard. Are you ready? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Name one female player in the Nigerian football team. The Super Falcons. Your auntie. Oh. Is she in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> Let me search up one now. I don't know any. The one that comes up. Rita Chikwalin. Oh, okay. Um, That's the first one that, you know, came up when I was searching. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> right now, at every podcast, there is always a yeah. quote in the middle or at the end or even the start always an important quote and i make this one right on the top of my head this second because why not why not what did you say i don't know this is just gonna be it's gonna it's gonna say random quote okay <clears throat> okay life is too short yeah. to be focusing on what other people say about you 
Oh my day, facts. Because people, people focus so much on what other people have to say. Like, come on. Like, are you going to marry them? No. Are <laughs> <laughs> they going to be with you for your whole life? No. So why do you care about so much of the things they say? In it. And like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how are you going to be sitting there at your house saying, <laughs> Jamie said I look fat today. He said my body looks like a sausage roll. He, he laughed at me. He, he said I'm stupid. He said I'm not smart. And he kind of pushed me. And I fell. And now I have scratch on my knee. And I need to get ice back. And I miss some time on my break because I had to sit out because my, my, my money was hurting me. I, I can't. <laughs> and then after after I, I, I evaporated, I turned into dust. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know what they need? They need African parents um, like speeches. No, because if you, like, if you get bullied, the African parents will say, bully them back, slap them, give them black and blue eyes. <laughs> black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. Mm-hmm. No, give them green and give, give them green and yellow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, wow. So that's the quote of the you know podcast episode four. And Victoria, you actually have wanted to be on this podcast for a while now, haven't you? Yeah. And you never chose me because you're a wicked goose. No, no. It's because, I don't know, it's because of the podcasting schedule, to be honest. But you know. Stop <laughs> acting like you're famous. Well, it is a schedule, to be honest. Schedule. Yes. Yeah, Let's go and put your eye in, in engineering. Engineering? <laughs> no, be a lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer, yeah. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Doctor. Sci- we have to be a doctor, engineer, yeah. scientist. Actually, no, a scientist. Before you splash your eye, by sixteen you have to move out. This <laughs> I have your own apartment. Uh-huh. Make lots of money and give it to me now. Uh-huh. I'm so fat. All these years having you. Hmm. You you be doing me my 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 payback. You owe me. You owe me. No. If you do anything bad, I, I, I put it in this way I can take it out. <laughs> I can take you straight out. One slap on your gun. I'll slap you under the moon. No, 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 I think that's all I know. Like, I know there's many more, but like, I want to say like <coughs> 72 plus. I know there's Ibo, Yoruba, many Hausa, Ido. Mm, that's all I can know. Actually, no, Fulani. That's all I know. Never even heard uh, of one of these other ones. There's 250 ethnic groups. So, yeah, hey. back to the whole diverse. There is a lot. 250. Jeez. 250. That's like. Wow. Hey. This is so random. But is it to me like when I was younger, I was thought counting to 100 would be, take so long. And I'd be in my in room it. when I tried to sleep. I'd get so bored. I'd start counting to 100. In it. <laughs> you and then the most annoying thing is when I forgot what number I'm on. Like, oh my days. Like, you fight me. You have to be stuck. Because you, you don't like to pick a non- random number. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, but you don't cheat and I won't count. Oh. It's so frustrating. Yeah. Who is the current chief of justices in, of Nigeria? Buhari. Somehow. That, I know that is correct. He's the president, I think. But the yeah. current chief of, the chief of justice... Is Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed? Mm-hmm. I've never heard of who he is, but we know See. now. In Nigeria, Democracy Day is now celebrated on. 
Hmm. What does democracy even mean? I think I actually don't know. I think that's something to do with guess. politics. I think. I'm gonna say 21st of November. Uh, a part of it is kind of close. June 12th. I know that doesn't sound close. It's because the 21st of November, if you turn the 21 around, is 12. So like, so, eh, you, you, you kind of got it there. A quarter of a plane, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which is the most populated country in the world? Just, just run random question. Um, country or like, okay, um, Russia. Incorrect. China, with 1.4 billion residents. Oh. What's the most populated country in Africa? Um, um, Zimbabwe. Incorrect. Nigeria. Zimbabwe Ooh. is not even like top five, I don't think. Actually, it might be. I don't know. Maybe it might be like top five or four. So yeah, the top oh. one country is Nigeria in Africa. Um, who was the first Nigerian female physic phys- uh, physicist? I, I don't, don't know. know a psychiatrist. I don't. Know. I don't know who she is, but her name is Dr. Bertha Johnson. Dr. Who is Johnson. Nigeria's Inspector General of Police. Uh, I, um, Baba Tunde. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you got it wrong, but I'll let that one slide. It's actually Adamu <laughs> Mohammed. Okay. There's actually a lot of Mohammed who run the country in Nigeria. Okay. Like, the gen- like the other one that like I said was... Mohammed. This one's also Adamu Mohammed. I think Bulari. I think his name's Mohammed Bulari or oh no Buhari or Mohammed Buhari or Buhari Mohammed. I think it's Mohammed Buhari. Yes, Mohammed Buhari. Um, what is the which is the second largest continent in the world? And get the um Africa. Incorrect. Ashi, correct, I think. That's correct. Yeah, it is, because it goes Asia, and then it's Africa. Yep. What continent has the most countries? Which what? Continent? Has the most countries. Asia. Incorrect. Africa. Oh. Yes, Africa. Africa has the most continents. I mean, the most countries in its continent. In its continente. Continenta! Continent! Continental! Stop it, Stop it now. I said continents. You have to pronounce the continents. So it's con- you have to pronounce the continents of continents. Now. Okay. What is the hottest region in the world called? What is what? Region. Um, region. I don't even know what region is, but. It's like an area of the world, I think. Um, Antarctica. Iwo. <laughs> Hi. Hot Hi. as you give me cold. Iwo. Ah. <laughs> this one is worse than Lollywood acting. <laughs> Hi. No, the Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. 